What does it look like to set $200 million on fire? We find out today on What's Trending. Today we've got the explosion of the Antares rocket, which was an unmanned rocket contracted by NASA from the Orbital Science Corp. Fortunately, no one was injured. Now this is the Antares rocket, which is carrying the Cygnus cargo spacecraft, which is 5,000 pounds of supplies and experiments to the International Space Station, which I guess was apparently all doused in gasoline. Yeah, well. Just the most flammable supplies ever. <laughs> the rocket exploded six seconds after its launch, and it's named appropriately for a giant red star. Together, Orbital Science Corps and the FAA will investigate with help from NASA. The next step is just to collect the debris and try to figure out what went wrong. Now, you may be asking what they're going to do in space without their supplies. Fortunately, there will be other missions to the space station to supply them before it's too urgent. They're actually completely supplied up through 2014. SpaceX, which is Elon Musk's company, has a mission planned for December that would also include more supplies and different experiments. One should note that back in Wired Magazine in 2012, Elon Musk did refer to Orbital Science's rocket as the punchline to a joke because it used old Russian engineering from the 60s. Mm. To avoid completely putting his foot in his mouth and to be a proper gentleman, Elon Musk did tweet, sorry to hear about the orbital sciences launch, hope they recover soon. Neil Tyson then tweets that this was a reminder that space is hard. Sub 150 Run writes, regardless of Antares, NASA still has a higher rate of success than couples who meet on The Bachelor. Ooh, suck it, Bachelor. Ooh. Ooh, you do make a valid point, sir. <laughs> what do you guys think about all this? Should private companies be building our spaceships? Think that would just lead to more problems like this? Or should it just be all handled by big government? Leave your comments below, like this video, and subscribe for more What's Trending Now.